Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gion. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gion. Are you upset because you see someone very, very happy? Don't you think that's a little bit much? But it's very normal. It is. And I will tell you why. Well, the thing is, everyone wants to be happy, right? Everyone wants to feel accomplished, prosperous, that things are going great in their life. But when things are not going well for you, and then suddenly you see somebody that is so happy, that triggers something in you, some sort of envy, some sort of uh, jealousy. It's normal, but that doesn't mean that it's right. The feelings of envy or jealousy are common because we are humans. It's part of our nature. But you have to learn to handle those, those feelings, those emotions, because it's not healthy. The fact that somebody is happy and accomplishing things and whatever the case may be, why they are so happy and bubbly, that has nothing to do with your own life. So you have to let it go. Don't let the happiness of others affect you more because you are unhappy. You have to deal with your own disasters. And that is exactly The thing that you have to do right now, deal with your own disasters. And in order to do that, you have to analyze the problems, which is hard. Most of the time, just thinking about the same situation is exhausting, but it's the solution to the problem. Because when you want to invest time studying the situation, whether it's your, your employment or your business or your health or your relationships, You know, when you analyze that, then you will be able to see what are the things that you can fix. It's important that you reach out to your mentor, somebody that you trust, and talk to this person. It's interesting. Sometimes the solution comes just by sharing things with others. Have you noticed that? You are upset about something and then you are talking to somebody about the situation and you are just telling this person, How mad are you for this and that? And suddenly in your conversation, boom, 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 boom. The solutions come up. That is why it's not healthy that you get upset with people that are happy when you are unhappy. It's not healthy. In fact, you know what? Maybe you should try to investigate what is the reason why those people are happy. And they probably will give you a little inspiration rather than being upset when, with someone that is happy when you are unhappy, you should be enjoying their happiness and be content with the situation. You know, positivism is a great thing, my friend. Be positive. See things from the right angle. Baby, let's see if you can do this. Yes, search app, G on TV. You got this, honey? It's on. That's right. Man, you're a genius. Old people get so happy with something so simple. By Giancarlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon's Yard Work. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. 
Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase the best revenge on audio and video. Hey, 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 hey. That's all. That's all. That's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.